Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's me again. Thank you for joining me today. Also, many thanks to those of you that do leave comments or message me, be it just a thank you note or maybe some questions, which I'm always happy to answer if I can, as you know, or maybe some critique, which I also find very inspiring and helpful, as, of course, I may overlook something on one hand, plus there can be different points of view on the other, which stimulate me uh, to think more about what's right. Well, if there is such a thing as right, uh, but at any rate, your feedback is always very encouraging. Please continue to participate. Speaking about your feedback, I've been quite frequently asked to discuss the right-hand pizzicato technique. So I thought it's time we do that now. I've decided to uh, split this conversation into two parts. This one will be devoted to the comping options and uh, the next video will be about the ways of using your right hand for soloing. I say ways because of course each of us is different physically and they have different musical ideas as well. And you know, we are all trying to replicate on the instrument what we have in our mind and soul. So please, no dogma here. I will be just sharing some of my own approaches. So let's talk about the basic comping right now and revert to basics once again. Please take a look at my arm. You see, it's hanging loose and relaxed. So now let's just place it on the instrument in the most natural way possible, just by lifting it and letting it fall on the fingerboard like this. Right? You see where it has landed. So this will be the best and the most natural point of contact and spot for your right hand to be for its comping position. Make sure everything feels as natural and relaxed as possible. Now, speaking about the fingers, you all of course know that you have to keep your thumb under the fingerboard. Just do this, very easy. And uh, you may want to use just one finger for plucking, sometimes. Right? In some other situations, you may want to use two fingers simultaneously, your index finger and your middle finger. you can also use both index and middle finger, alternating them sometimes and also mix and match all these approaches according to your current musical needs. And this is the method that I tend to use myself in my own playing. want to ask me what to do with the remaining two fingers? The answer is actually simple. Whichever feels more natural to you. I myself tend to keep them sort of retracted and actually I do not feel any strain or any discomfort that feels very natural to me. But some people do prefer to keep them straight and parallel to the uh, other two fingers. So it's your call to figure out whatever feels right and sounds best for you. As far as alternating fingers is concerned, you may notice that the middle finger lies naturally on a lower string, which should, in theory, give an idea that it would primarily be used to bounce off the lower string. You know, I've been checking this, what I do myself when I play, in reality it was quite hard to deduct a rule here. So just do whatever feels physically right and sounds good, and does not create excessive movements and tensions. Further on, 
We might talk a little bit about various licks and the right hand fingerings used for those, uh, such as, you know, well, lots of, you know, uh, things like this, and so on and so forth. So please stay tuned. It's also interesting to look into the right hand fingerings, both in the terms of licks and soloing. Now, uh, a little practical tip. For a nice and fatter sound, contrary to some soloing techniques, it's good to avoid playing with the fingertips and it's good to use much of the side surface. Yeah. And this approach pretty much applies to all the three options I have mentioned earlier. And now I would like also to mention a few uh, typical mistakes I've seen over the years of my teaching that the students make, tend to make sometimes. First of all, it's collapsing the knuckles, playing like this. This leads uh, to excessive movements and impacts the sound. Also, it's like really kind of weak, you know, your hand, it should be firm and not your fingers should be firm and they shouldn't be like weak, you know. Another, another uh, mistake is sticking out fingers, playing like, you know, like this, which are excessive movements and this leads to tensions. And, you know, whatever uh, the excessive movements imply, we did discuss this a while ago. Another mistake is trying to play with fingertips, but I just mentioned this. It gives you this kind of, you know, really sharp sound, not very suitable for comping. Now, I've sometimes seen people moving hand up and down. I can't even imitate it, I guess, but something like... I, 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 can't, I can't even imitate it. But sometimes people just move, you know, somehow their hand up and down between the notes. No, please keep it at the same spot. Another um, erroneous approach, in my opinion, is placing the hand too high. This impacts uh, feeling grounded as well as affects the sound. And it's not really natural. So once again, this. And just before uploading this video, I realized I completely forgot to mention one fairly common mistake that I've seen so many times. I don't know how come it popped up from my mind. So I decided to do this little insert and tell you about it. So please try and avoid using your middle finger as the main playing tool, playing like this. What we see here, we see the tension, the fingers are not together, and obviously it also impacts the sound. You know, to me, it gives me some sort of crippled feeling even just by looking at it. Of course, these are just some basic advices, but I hope you'll find them helpful, and I'll be looking forward to talking to you in my next video about various right-hand technique possibilities that can be used for soloing. And now, it's finally spring, so enjoy the sun, go out, take nice walks out in the nature and play bass lines and try to capture what feels and sounds best for you. Many thanks for watching and see you soon.